brand I had used before, and uh, they're just wonderful. Uh, this rose water, uh, rose and glycerin, is vet, uh, vegetable glycerin, uh, vegan and cruelty free. And literally, there's just a few ingredients and all natural, naturally derived. So uh, I hope they have it here. Otherwise, I'll switch. Yeah, it's uh, rose water. Okay, it's witch hazel and vegetable glycerin. And uh, there's a couple more, so I'm gonna switch right here for you guys to see before we apply it. And so this mist is very moisturizing, uh, can be as a refresher during the day, throughout the day. Um, it smells like roses. And um, also it can be as a makeup finish as well. This one definitely can. So which hazel, rose water, uh, rose uh, essential oil and vegetable glycerin. This is literally what it is in the ingredients here. And it smells fantastic. You can imagine like roses. And uh, look how it sprays and spreads. I don't know if you see. Oh yeah, you see that. So wonderfully smelling like roses. So what I'm good doing is like three palms. One, two, actually two is enough, but I'll do three. Oh, my face is refreshed and uh, the moisture is going to be absorbed. And throughout the day, I love to do a few sprays, like a couple sprays on my face because I am just a loving the way my face is hydrated because especially like with the humidity outside and with everything and once you like uh wash your face too much because i am like your face needs extra hydration throughout the day and if you feel like you need a little boost of energy and boost of uh, moisture throughout the day this is easy to carry in this beautiful uh bottle uh, it is from Pharma Aesthetics, and Pharma Aesthetics is a wonderful vegan and cruelty-free brand with their uh, in just incredible products, and that I have been using already. And again, as I've said before, all you need to do is do a few pumps. Lovely, and it's ready. And this is for you, literally from ingredients. There's four ingredients in, in here. There's rose water, rose oil witch hazel and vegetable glycerin and this is it this is your bottle to refresh the day this is glass and uh a little plastic on top but not too much thank god um and this would be my refresher throughout the day i do not use it as a primer moisturizer i either use it before just to give myself like a boost or i definitely use it after uh, throughout the day, maybe like three, four times a day. Maybe it's too much, some might say, but I am just learning to refresh myself. Like coming back, I'm not taking a shower, not washing my face. I'm just like, and also throughout the day, if you're somewhere not home and you did not have a hand sanitizer on you or else you don't want to touch your face, I guarantee that this is a brilliant spray moisturizer that is going to give you uh, all, all the moisture for your face that your face is needed at the moment and um, at the same time you're not uh, it does not require for you to touch your face if you're traveling for example like this is what I'm definitely taking with me it is 59 milliliters as far as I know like on a plane you're not supposed to have like a f uh, larger than a hundred milliliters so you can even take it with you on a plane probably and uh, if not, that pardon me, we'll need to double check, but I'll do it one more time for you. Mm. I love the rose smell so much. All right, and let's get to our last but not least ingredient is from Goa. This is leave-in conditioner, which is an oil as well. So also, um, part of the moisturizing routine. Uh, it has like a pipette, pipette right here. So, uh, here, ooh, lovely. I'm gonna take my head off because it's time to put some oil on. So after you washed your uh, hair, uh, apply it on. You can either do it uh, before, um, drying your hair you can also do it a little after 
Ah, oh, it smells magnificent, like citrus, citrusy a little, a little citrusy. So preventing your hair from thinning and uh, moisturizing it, protecting it from the sun damage and restoring it from the sun damage. This oil is fastly absorbed, uh, does not make your uh, hair super oily. It's like very light oils. And uh, in general, afterwards, what you can do is, you, <laughs> sorry about that, the noises around the apartment. Uh, afterwards, when you're done drying your hair and you have some fly, flies away, flyaways, you can just uh, use a little of the oil to like, uh, first of all, give your hair a nice glow, a uh, natural looking glow, and second of all, uh, to just get those, you know, get those guys in. So this is, um, it is hair oil, which is considered as a um, leave-in 